Welcome to the latest of our vlogs and you see I've got my buddy back again, my wife Sue, uh, to hold my hand and we want to talk today a little bit about our time at college when I was accepted for training for the ministry. Now we originally thought we were going to Cambridge, that's what we wanted, that's what we put down for and we all thought it was arranged but then we had this communication to say we're going to Bristol to Wesley College. I went down to see the bursar talk about arrangements and they had some accommodation in the college but he said to me well you've got three kids it's quite a big family so why don't you leave your family back in Norwich and you come down on your own have one of the flats and I thought I'm not going to be separated from my family for that time so this is the, the amazing thing we decided to sell our house in Norwich and try and buy somewhere in uh, somewhere near the college in Bristol so miraculously divinely we we believe uh, we, we sold our house in Norwich, the price had gone up, so we were able to pay off the mortgage, pay uh, the legal fees, etc., and buy this little house in a place called Henbury, which is quite close to college. Uh, and we paid all that off, or we bought this house, and at the end of all that, we had £10 left over, which was miraculous. So we went out fish and chips. In fact, that became a bit of a tradition, didn't it? That when we moved into a new house, we had fish and chips on the first night. So there we were in uh, at Wesley College in Bristol, and I think I've said before I didn't actually learn a great deal, which was any practical use to me in uh, ministry. However, we did make some really good friends while we were there, and indeed there were three families, the Clarks, we had three children, the Coverdales had three children, and the Greys, some of you know Chris and Viv, uh, had three children, and after college we used to meet up regularly in each other's homes. So during that time, we came down actually to where Chris and Viv were living with their three here in the Leicester West Circuit. And I also had made up uh, an agreement with three other friends, uh, Dave Barrett, Dave Moss and um, Phil Jones, that we would commit to praying with each other, keeping in contact, meeting up regularly. And we, that went on for a few years. Well, that was really encouraging. So... Uh, Apart from that, the football, yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed being part of the college football team. I uh, was awarded the Own Goal of the Year award on one occasion, which I'm very proud of. Still got the certificate. But uh, I think actually probably the truth is that Sue maybe gained more out of college life than I did in some respects in terms of growth and learning. So I'm going to hand over to her to tell you about that. So you're not going to be rude to me this morning? No then. rudeness, <laughs> no rudeness. It is uh, lunchtime, so that's why Sue's here. And oh, <laughs> um, I think when we first moved down to Bristol, um, it was quite difficult because I'd been used to having a lot of people around that I knew very well. And we did lots of um, things at our home. And suddenly I can remember been there one day and we'd got a problem with our lounge because the man smoked in the lounge nowhere else in the house but he'd smoked in the lounge and we needed to get rid of um some artex on the ceiling that was covered in nicotine and wallpaper and I can remember scrubbing getting all this stuff off and just saying to God well it's just you and me now and I've obviously got to learn other things <laughs> And, um, yeah, I think I I had lots of things that happened at college. I did um, a counselling course, which was really good. I got involved in something called Bible Study Fellowship, which was helpful when we moved to Sheffield because I was able then to start off um, a group with a different organisation that worked on the same basis called Community Bible Study. Um, we went, in our third year, we went to a big Anglican church because we thought it would be good to go somewhere that was doing stuff really well. And I got involved in their basics courses and that was really helpful. And I met lots of very interesting people through that. In fact, interestingly, that was a fantastic church to belong to, Christchurch uh, in Bristol. And the associate vicar at the time was a man called James Jones, James Jones who became Bishop of Liverpool. Uh, so it was a really great church to belong to. We really benefited from that year 
and our kids are well supported in their youth and children's work. Yeah, and also they ran um, a centre for families in bed and breakfast accommodation, which is really interesting, and I got involved in that. But not only did uh, families from bed and breakfast accommodation come along to that, but because of where it was, uh, quite a lot of affluent families came along as well, and that was just really interesting and challenging and taught me about lots of different sorts of people. So, on the whole, very positive years. Didn't perhaps learn anything, or a great deal in terms of practical ministry, but it was really fundamental. And apart from anything else, because I was a college student and uh, had quite a bit of time off at home, it gave me those three years good time to spend with the children, which was a blessing, uh, apart from when they fell out. But uh, anyway, so we, after three years... We were stationed, as they call it in Methodism, to the Burzum circuit in the potteries. And uh, were we prepared? Probably not. Yeah, we had to look up on the map where it was. We did, we? we did. But we'll get on to that next. So next time we'll talk about our, our years, our potteries years, uh, which were great years. So thanks for listening again. Uh, God bless you. Have a great day.